Hello everyone, wherever you are in the world, this is The Unstoppable Show and my name is Jennifer Hardy. I am joined with an incredible powerhouse of a woman today, Raquel Wing. Hey Raquel. Hello, hello everyone. Glad so, to be here. Well, so awesome to have you here. So just to fill you in for you guys that are listening today, Raquel's actually from Southern California. Um, and as a former well, yes, originally from Long Beach, California, Long Beach, California, and you're a former wealth management professional, yeah, correct, yes. And you have decided to completely redirect your career, and you're now helping grow the clean beauty industry after pursuing your business degree in 2015 2016. So, I take it this idea was born out of the business degree or was it way before that? No, it was actually way before that. So, um, you know, I always had a really serious um, sensitivity to any sort of products that I was using ever since I was a teenager. Um, but, you know, when I got into my mid twenties, I was like, okay, enough is enough. You know, I, I've had really bad breakouts and allergic reactions to products. So I just thought I kind of wanted to figure out what was happening to my skin. Yeah. So that's kind of what, where this whole clean beauty journey started for me. Yeah. So, um, you know, one day I just decided, uh, you know, I would create a spreadsheet. <laughs> I know this sounds really geeky. I created a spreadsheet of all the products that I was using, yeah. um, with all the ingredients, because I was like, I know there must be one ingredient that's causing all this to happen. Um, and then after research, I found that actually there were at least probably five that were doing this that were known skin disruptors. And then what was even more appalling was there are also another five toxic ingredients, another five known carcinogens. And that's when I just kind of, but that's what kind of started me on this path. I was, I was like, you know, here I am, you know, living a healthier lifestyle with exercise and eating well, you know, trying not to eat too many processed foods, but I wasn't paying any attention to what was actually going on my body. Yeah. Um, and my, my skin was screaming for help. So that's, that's what started me on this journey. Amazing. And I was actually reading the other day that the amount of toxins and carcinogenic and, and, and like just yuck that goes into some yeah. of the famous branded products yeah. insane. I, like I, I had no idea just how harmful some of the stuff was actually I must admit right and you know it's you know when you think about it I think on average women use about 16 products a day like by the time they've gone to sleep and that hits your bloodstream really quickly like I think it's like 26 seconds so after a lifetime that that creates a lot of stress on your body um and so I wanted to create a program that would help these clean beauty brands kind of get noticed and also help create, like there's quite a learning curve if you're interested in buying clean beauty products. So I wanted to flatten that learning curve. So that's why I started the Clean Hub. Amazing, amazing. So tell me, what is Clean Hub? Clean <laughs> Perfect. Versus, versus natural green beauty well what is this so essentially what um clean beauty is it's the new term that overrides natural or green beauty um, and the reason why we use clean instead of natural or green is because uh natural or green have been abused by a lot of major mainstream brands um in greenwashing so like if you have a natural, uh, say you, ha you have aloe vera, you've created a product and you put one ingredient that's natural or quote green um, in your product, you can actually market it as natural or green when everything else is actually potentially toxic wow. or, or carcinogenic. So clean is like the new, like um, it's the new way to portray truly natural products and kind of to erase any of the confusion out there of greenwashing so because this has to be completely 100 percent a clean product it can't just be one ingredient is clean and then the rest of it is har really harmful correct so it's actually um and no animal testing as well um so so basically what it is is um you know Getting back to uh, my story is I, I realized that a lot of these clean beauty products, they were great. Um, they had, you know, they were interesting. They were fun things that were going on. It's not just, you know, skin um, oils. It was also like teeth whitening and, 
hairspray, but they all were like, um, because it's a new industry for smaller brands, because they, I think there are like five brands that basically owned all the companies, all the beauty companies, any of these smaller companies had a lot of business information that they had to ingest. And so I just wanted to make it easier for them. So what the clean hub does is it's a one-stop shop of business information for these clean beauty brands to get. Um, help on scaling. So whether that's exporting, whether that's international trademarks, whether that's branding or social media marketing, that's what we help them with. Nice. And then, awesome. yeah, and then we've partnered with a UK retailer here, Pure Spot and Beauty. Um, they have eight stores and they have agreed to sell our products from within our membership program in their stores. And we're launching with them um, late March, early April. So we're really excited. Amazing. So let me just get this straight then. So if someone comes into your space, they already have a clean product, but they're a small brand and they obviously want to scale. But by partnering with you, would that mean then they would be able to have their product in the store as well? Correct. Yeah. Wow. What an incredible yeah. concept to make it so, so for these people. Yeah, so we're trying, I mean, um, we're trying to really, it's about growing the clean beauty industry. So we're giving them all, we're pumping them with business information so that, you know, they have this nest to grow in and that, you know, they, they don't have to spend hours alone with limited funding on trying to find out, you know, what kind of numbers they need to have before they export. We want to have that in one area for them. And then we have a retail partner where we work to have their products sold in their store. So we're, we're helping them on these major pain points. And it's also a place where if you're interested in trying a clean beauty product, you can go to one of the pure locations and then, you know, try something, um, try something new. Amazing. So, I think you've got a website as well, though, that, that customers can just go to. Yeah, correct. Um, so that's at the clean hub. And so just www.cleanhub.com, yeah? Co correct, yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to be like jumping in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it as well, um, just to be really um, uh, just thorough here, that all the products will then also be vegan. Am I right in saying? Um, yes. I mean, so vegan is essentially no animal products and no testing on animals. Yeah, yeah. Um, so correct. Yeah. Are, are, are you a vegan well, beauty product fan? Actually last year, um, I began to experiment with, with veganism, if you like, I'm totally veggie now, but I found, I found being vegan really, really tricky. Um, just because of where I live in Scotland, I would have to always be online ordering food and I'm not that organized. Mm. So but I'm getting much, much better. So I wouldn't say, um, I'm a practicing full-time vegan, but what I will say is that anywhere that I can t have a space or room for change to have mm -hmm. no product, then I'll, I'll go for that option. Okay. No, that sounds great. Um, who are vegan. A lot of friends that are vegan as well, which is, which is fab. So this is brilliant. Um, for these guys listening out there today, I can't wait to get this podcast show out. So <laughs> what you're doing, I just think it's absolutely brilliant for customers but also for for incredible business people as well who have already developed um their products so fantastic so um what are the um just to ask what what are some key things to look out for in let's say let's call it dirty ingredients or um you know toxic ingredients as a consumer just to, to help people listening today yeah. Um, so I know it can be really confusing and complicating if you're, if you're new to the beauty industry, um, as far as what is a dirty ingredient. And so, um, and you know, anyone who's turned over a label and sees, you know, 50, 50 different ingredients, it can, it, it gets really confusing. Um, so I've limited to three that I think would just be really helpful for most people. Um, and the first would be definitely fragrance or parfum. So, um, one thing to know is that the beauty industry is very unregulated. So you, any brand could put parfum or fragrance as one of their ingredients and um, it's completely proprietary to them. So they don't have to disclose what it is. And studies have shown that the majority of mainstream brands have actually used that, abused that um, ingredient and have been able to put in toxic ingredients in there. So always be leery if if it says fragrance or perfume, um, 
many of the brands, if they're clean, will say it's a natural fragrance or perfume. Um, they'll be upfront about it. Yeah. Um, so that's the first one. Um, second are PEGs. Um, and these are found in all kinds of beauty products. So scrubs, body wash, makeup, toothpaste. Um, and what happens, so anything that you see that says PEG, you know, something, it becomes, basically becomes contaminated with what's called 1,4-dioxane and it becomes a carcinogen, a known carcinogen. So anything with PEGs, stay away from. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then, and the last bit, uh, would be anything with the word paraben at the end, um, I would stay away from as well because they are known reproductive um, and developmental, like they, they develop uh, reproductive and developmental disorders. It's, an, it's um, studies have shown. So fragrance, PEGs, and parabens. Um, and actually, so I know, I know it's so confusing because these are, this is just, you know, the top of the barrel for this sort of stuff. But, and that's kind of why we wanted to start a um, podcast is because questions like you have, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just, a, it's just people have so many questions about what is clean beauty. They want to know more, but there's not a lot of information out there. So we're um, starting to, to do that as well. Yes, it's very confusing. Well, when it comes to um, like the words organic as well, is that something that these beauty brands can just kind of throw on there? Unfortunately, yes. Um, so same thing with natural or green. If you have one organic ingredient in there, you can call it organic. And so um, I would be leery of those as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's such an eye-opener, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. So obviously, I feel as if I know the answer to this, just from a personal level, because I've, all, I've already kind of started in exploring um, being much more careful about what I'm consuming as well as what I'm putting on my skin and stuff. But, but why do you think it's so important to support clean beauty brands as well? Yeah, well, I would say, you know, for a long time, um, the industry has been run by the major label brands. There have been like five brands who have owned all the products and, um, you know, as health and wellness, grows and as people want more transparency in their products, um, we're seeing an influx of these new independent beauty brands that are coming up with some great and really interesting um, clean beauty products. And so they are competing against some, some tough competition really. So it's important that we give them a nest to grow in because, you know, like I said, it's, it's gonna, it's a long road ahead for them. Yeah. Um, so that's why I think it's important if, if, if we care about what, you know, we're eating, we should care about what's going on in the largest organ of our body, which is our skin. Yeah, um, I totally yeah. agree. And of course, I mean, the kind of state of the way that the environment is at the moment as well. I mean, this must have a huge impact when people, if, if you were to imagine right now that 50% of the people even listening to this podcast or that have been using beauty products in the past transferred over to clean, that must be an incredible boost to the environment as well. Exactly. Yeah. Sustainability as well. Yeah. Excellent. It's Excellent. about, yep. So, so why as well do you think using cleaner beauty products is the healthier choice? Um, yeah. So it kind of goes back to, uh, you know, what I said before, um, I think that beauty is often a forgotten space within the wellness area. Um, and like I mentioned, you know, the average woman touches, I think it's like 16 products before they go to bed. And then, you know, it takes just seconds to get into their bloodstream. So after years of this, it can cause some serious damage. You know, if you're not sleeping well, or you're not eating well, you know, after time it builds up and people are getting sick. Um, you know, and I think that people are realizing that processed foods are not good, but they need to consider kind of what dirty products are doing to them as well. Yeah, um, it's a complete lifestyle overhaul really, isn't it? Right. And it's not about, you know, um, going into your bathroom and throwing everything away. It's, yeah. you know, I would say it, I, that's what I think the number one problem is. It's just, there's so much information out there about what's, you know, dirty and just, I would say take your time and start with what you use probably the most every day and just start trying new things. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited. I am absolutely so excited to dive in and have a look um, at the kind of things that are in there already. Um, 
So tell me, this it's really exciting and I feel as if there's just so much energy surrounding what you're doing and what you're all about and you getting to speak to you um, in kind, well, kind of semi-human form, like all over, <laughs> all over yeah. different parts of the world. It's so lovely to actually see you and meet you and see you live. Um, and oh my goodness, I can only just begin to imagine what this tip of the iceberg is going to bring for you because it's such an incredible concept it's such Thank a you. beautiful thing to be doing um, just even even I know that you've not really said the word vegan too much but that at the moment is huge everyone is yeah vegan. you know why am I eating or or putting animal products on me and um, what is the more natural way to go so having something that they can go to which is completely 100% clean and they don't have to be still rummaging so I can remember looking into vegan products as well and actually even though it said when you did a little bit, they said vegan on them, when you did a little bit more digging, some of them actually weren't. You know what? And that's funny that you bring that up because I was just talking to some, talking to somebody about this the other day, you know, a major brand, um, which everyone's seen at a drugstore had a vegan face mask put out. And, you know, I, when you turn the ingredients over, you know, every, it was, there was a bunch of stuff on there that I just thought, you know, that's very toxic. Why would they put that in a face mask? And then, um, you know, part of being vegan is, you know, animal rights. So Absolutely. why the, the same brand does animal testing in China. So, you know, I just thought that, was, yeah, I just thought, you know, it's just there. It, how do they get away with that? You know, so we're trying to create a new standard where, you know, you can't get away with that. If you come through our program, like you, this is, these are brands that are, you know, truly vetted and they're clean. And if they say that they're something they have, they're transparent about and they have to be. So. This is wonderful. I am so happy for you, Raquel, to get this <laughs> And this is awesome. It really is. So tell me for the people that are listening that are um, in this position right now where they have a product and they're just, they're stuck. Like they don't mm -hmm. know, like, how do I do this? Like, where do I go? How do I be in a scale? Um, you have got and the most incredible free giveaway, don't you? Right, I do. So um, the next three clean beauty brands that sign up to our membership program, which is only $35 a month to access this business information, um, we're giving them one-on-one -on -one mentorship with one of our expert specialists, um, which is typically about $300 um, an hour. So we're giving that away for free. So go ahead and log in to www.thecleanhub.com and click on our sign up link at the top and um, we'll get you sorted. Incredible. So can I just ask as well, again, for, the, for those people listening, when it comes to your monthly program, what else is involved in that? Because I mean, it's $35 a month, which is incredible. <laughs> yeah, we've, uh, we've been able to, we, we've done a good job of these experts um, are providing their information um, on, inf on things like exporting or branding. Wow. Um, and if you choose to use their services, you can, um, but you're not, you don't have to. It, it helps to give you, you know, a basic foundation on these difficult areas. Like mm -hmm. how much does it cost to um, get a trademark if you're trying to get into the UK? And what are the timelines for that? That's the kind of information we're providing to wow. these brands. Uh, and for $35 a month, that is yeah. <laughs> Incredible. The prices will go up, so get in now. Yep. Get in fast. I was going to say, my goodness, that can't stay like that forever. Yeah. Absolutely influx of people. Um, yes, yeah, so absolute pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to speak to you today. Um, I have you communicated, well. uh, never mind the people that are going to be listening to, to this um, podcast, and it was so lovely to speak to someone. I, I obviously speak to a lot of people that are kind of in the same niche as me and you know coaching and marketing and and although this is marketing to a certain extent it's a very different product and that really interests me um, and it's very very exciting so I cannot wait to see this explode so we are looking at www.thecleanhub.com if you guys out there listening want any more information Raquel thank you so much for being with me today thank you very much well i'm very excited i love what you're doing thank you so much you're doing a great job out there yeah oh thank you that means a lot thank you so i will say good morning good afternoon good evening to everyone <laughs> that's 
listening out there today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you stroll down a little bit, you can obviously have Raquel's links and you can also find out a little bit more about Unstoppable and what I do when it comes to all things digital marketing, website building, visibility, and of course, making sure that women are on top of the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have the most beautiful day or evening wherever you are in the world and look out for the next episode lots of love see you later Bye.